Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to patch any NPM package very easily with PNPM, with YARN and NPM. So let's just dive in and find out how you can patch any package. For the demonstration, I'm going to use is big int package, but it will work with anything. Basically anything will work here. To begin with, we're gonna use PNPM. So good. So we have the package is already installed. So, and if you go to node module, and then we look at the PNP, well, look at the node module is big int, and then if you look at the index.js, we can see it's looking for some stuff, and then also it's returning false if the type is undefined. So it's, what it's actually going to do is to check if the number is big int. So if I just go to my terminal, and just go to node.js, and then say type of, I don't know, 12, is number type of object is object type of 32 n is big int so it's actually checking if the value is big int or not so let's get out very quickly so it doesn't check for type object as you can see obviously it's not a bug but we can improve it and so what I'm going to do is actually going to add one more check here and see what's going to happen and also I'm going to add a console log as well so in order to use PNPM you don't really have to do anything magic the patch comes automatically and out of the box in PNPM so all we have to do we have to just say PNPM patch and then the name of the package that we want to patch it so it's going to be is big int so you, Basically, you can patch anything, but in this example, we're going to patch this one. So the moment you just, let me just make this one a bit bigger. PNPM is going to give you a temporary uh, uh, directory that has all of these files belong to the uh, is big int. And then once you have changed it, you can run this command patch commit and it will just add the patch. But let's see. Okay, so first thing first, I'm gonna copy this one. And then here I'm going to say Visual Studio Code or code, and then I'll open that directory in Visual Studio Code. Okay, yes, I trust it. So now if you look, it's exactly the same thing. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to copy this line and paste it, and then say if it is also object, return false. One more thing that I want to do, I also want to do a console log just for the sake of argument. I want to show how it works. Okay, so basically we did two things. We add a console log and we are checking for type object. So I've done all my changes. I'm happy. I have the fix. Now I'm going to do save it, close it. So we're going to do pnpm patch commit and this is exactly the same uh, directory. So let's paste it here. And I'm going to just get rid of the last one. Now you can see we have patch minus one. Now if I close everything, you can see a few things happened. If you go to package.json, now you have pnpm patched, patched dependencies. It's going to patch the is big int version 1.0.4 with patches is big int 1.4 dot patch. So that's one thing. The next thing you also notice there is a patch directory, patches directory. If you go there, that's what you're going to see. So we have a console log, the one we added, and also we add this line. How we're going to use it is very important as well. So now I'm going to get rid of node module. So all I have, I'm also going to get rid of like a pnpm log file. So all I have is like a fresh project. All I'm going to do, just say pnpm install. Okay, it's going to install one thing and also there was one dependency and it also going to add the patch as well. To prove the point, now if you go to node module is big int and look at index.js, now we have the console.log and also we have the object thanks to that package, uh, that patch directory. So make sure if you're using git, you are going to add these patches into your control version as well. So now if I create index.js 
and basically I'm going to copy this one to just test the file object ledger's string and also let's just check a uh, big int so now if I do note index you can see we have the console log and it then false 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 and true so we have our console log and also we have uh, our patches all we have to do if you remember we have to just do pmpm PM patch and then the package name is big int is going to give us a temporary directory we're going to update our code and everything save it and then we're going to say pnpm patch commit and then that uh, directory the temp directory and everything is going to be patched so we don't really have to add anything else okay this is pnpm but if you're going to use npm the story is a little bit different so i'm going to get rid of node module i'm also going to get rid of pnpm lock and why not let's get rid of uh, patches as well so what do we have here oh well, okay we're not using pnpm i'm going to get rid of this so if you're going to use pnpm or yarn sorry if you're going to use npm or yarn then you have to do a few more things so all i have to do is to install npm patch package so if you search for patch package you can see that so we have to install this dependency because npm doesn't have patch package uh, out of the box so let's just go here so we're going to install patch package as a dev dependency well actually we have big int as well so i'm going to say uh, pnpm uh, sorry npm install so we're going to have is big int as well good so now we have is big int and now we also have dev dependencies there is also one more thing that we need to do we also need to add one command here or one script which is going to be post install so definitely it should be post install because when we do yarn install or npm install it's going to run this line of or this script afterward and all we have to do is to just say patch package so it's going to run this command so now we have everything ready now we need to have our patch all we have to do again come back here in node module we're going to find is big int and then i'm also going to just check for the index i'm going to do exactly the same thing but this time we're not really going out of anywhere so we're not going to go to a temporary doc uh, directory or anywhere so i'm going to just copy this one okay we have all our changes already in place the next thing that we need to do is to just use npx patch package and we want to patch uh, is big int so npx patch package and then all we have to do is to say is big int okay i'm going to close this one and also close this one going back now we have again patches directory node module is not that important anymore but let's look now we have a console log and the object that we were testing as well here again uh, and now if i get rid of my node module which i'm going to do it so it's deleted there is nothing else left and all i have to do just to say npm install very normal things and we're going to get everything but let's look as well so it's going to install these two but then there is a post install which is going to patch the packages and it already applied the patches in is big int now if i go to node module and uh, look for is big int index.js you can see we have type object and we have console log i'm going to close this one and now run our code node index.js now we're going to get a different console log and also we're going to get some values so this is how you're going to do it if you're going to use yarn obviously it's a, it's a little bit different because if you're going to use yarn 
you also need to install this package as a dev dependency post install dash post install because if you're going to like remove something from the yarn this is going to uh, help you so if you look at why post install post install definitely it's going to explain a few things and then you can see why do we need it so with yarn and npm you definitely need patch package uh, patch package package and then also you need to add post install into your scripts but if you're going to use npm it has it out of the box and you don't have to do anything so now this is how you're adding actually patches to the packages but the question maybe you have to ask is this one why do you need to add patches uh, there are different reasons basically you're using a library that library has a vulnerability a bug or missing a feature and there is already a PR or maybe not PR in that repository for that package but it's not been meshed or it's not been released so you cannot wait and like your code or your system is blocked so what you have to do you can add a patch then once you get the new or the latest version then you can remove your patch and everything is good but as a rule of thumb maybe the best practice is to first of all look maybe for a better package if you can if it's not going to break a lot of things in your code base or create a PR to just fix the bug in the repository of that package so everyone can benefit as well so that feature is going to be available for everyone so as a rule of thumb why not to help the community as well and this is how you're going to add patches to any package so thank you so much for watching this video and if you have any question please don't forget to ask me in the comment section and also don't forget to share, like, subscribe if you enjoy watching this video. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.